All right, we are here at 305 and 307 8th Street. Uh, we're going to be doing a video walkthrough. We're going to walk through 305, which is the Humanitry House. You can see here that they've, uh, they've got the space uh, painted. You can see the uh, air conditioning plenum. You can see the bar here on the left. There's two restrooms in here. And uh, you can see the mezzanine uh, above the rear and the uh, really cool bar here with uh, the uh, pennies that have been, been uh, uh, lacquered. And um, this is the end of the unit. And as we walk back, kind of get a sense of what this space looks like. Um, actually back behind this wall is the staircase uh, that would take you to the upstairs. And you've got some shop space here. And now we're going to be walking outside. We're going to be walking into the next unit, which is 307, which is aficionados. And in this space, you've got uh, retail. This is the, the uh, humidor. You can kind of get a sense of what the space feels like. We move back through here, that retail space, <clears throat> and this is the back room here, and we're heading upstairs. You can see the windows back there that have been covered up when the building was renovated. You kind of get a sense of how high these ceilings are. You see the air conditioning system back there, and the back windows. We are walking up the steps. Get a sense what the second floor looks like. There's two sides, and they are identical. And we're going to walk through this side first. Let's turn this light on. And this second floor was divided into offices. And you kind of, this is kind of the furthest back office. And then on both sides here, you've got a row of offices on each side. You can see these doors. And right now they're being used for storage. You can see that the drop ceiling has been removed. The electrical is operational here on the second floor. You see the sewer line running up there, air conditioning lines. And then you've got the windows here in the front. We're gonna walk back down this hallway and we're gonna cross over into the other side. So we're sitting directly above aficionados right now. When we cross through this hallway, we're going to be directly above Humanitry House. And you see right now it's being used for storage. See the ceilings are gone. You can see the, the hangers there. The, uh, the, uh, the suspended ceiling's been removed. You can see the sprinkler system r running throughout the, uh, the uh, above the ceilings. And you see the old heart pine floors and the windows. You can see the windows have been lowered. Looks like when they lowered the ceiling, they also kind of framed in the bottom sash of those giant windows to to uh, kind of cut, cut down on the ceiling height. We're walking back towards the back. The freight elevator is back here in the back corner um, above Humanitry House. And you can kind of see what this space looks like a little bit. That is the freight elevator. And you've got an open window here. You can actually see the rear, what this space looks like from the second floor. You've got the air handler sitting right there. We're going to walk back towards the front of the unit. Oh, and you can see here in this, this uh, air handler and the panel box here for the second floor. All right, we're going to walk back through. Oh, and right here, lest I forget, this is the staircase that would lead you from the front uh, it's actually directly next to the front door of Humanitry House. So now we're walking back towards the uh, to the front, and we're actually going to take a right. This is another one of the connections between the right and left side, and this is going to take us up to the third floor. There we go. You got this old heart pine wooden staircase, and we are almost here. You see the. You can see the uh, emergency lights have been installed, and the sprinkler system is in here. The sprinkler system was in installed, but never connected. So one thing that would have to happen is water supply and approvals for the county to connect the system. 
We're walking towards the front. We're on the left side above Humanitry House. You can see these windows again. You can definitely see how they've been they've been framed in. You can see where the sheetrock stops, how they lowered the ceilings. The uh, the ducts are still here. You can see that most of this floor has been gutted. Uh, here's the old bathrooms. On all the floors directly above where I'm standing um, is a, a, what looks like must have been an elevator shaft. It's been it's been roughed in with uh, with wood. And here is the uh, the third floor above um, aficionados. You can kind of see the windows here. See what it would lay like. Um, our thought is that you could probably get 12 to 14 apartments in here, depending on, on how you lay the space out. Um, you can see here that there's an old skylight. Looks like it's been covered up. It would be amazing to open that up to these middle units. There's the plumbing. Um, and then we're walking towards the back. It's going to be tough to see back here. There's a roof access up there, staircase up above that office. And you've got this... You've got these uh, windows above the sheetrock. Looks like they basically just sheetrock right over it to kind of kind of keep it simple. And you can see the barn door. It's a huge metal sliding barn door with that kind of middle separation. And that is the third floor. So this is 305, 307, 8th Street. And uh, I've enjoyed walking through it with you. If you have any questions, call us. Our information is below. Uh, or shoot us an email. Have a great day. Thanks.